Hello everyone, this is Paz to Catch and welcome back to another video. Um, today I thought I would give you five tips for starting a YouTube channel. And um, I went with my five things that I think are most important and things that will like help you reach out to people and bring people into your channel. So the first thing that I have to say is, while equipment isn't like everything, it's still pretty important. I see a lot of people when they make similar videos to this, they say, oh, you don't need that good equipment. Like, as long as you have personality, you'll be fine. Well, that's not entirely true. People, to find videos enjoyable, they like to have good audio, crisp video. So if you don't have that, or if your audio or video quality is terrible, they're not going to stay with you. So it's really important to get a good microphone. I think that's the most important thing. That way you can have a really nice, crisp, clean commentary, whether you're doing gaming or if you're doing like a vlog or something like that, microphones are very important. But if you're doing like gaming videos, it's also important to have a computer that can record videos of games because if you have like a really awful laptop or something, it's not going to be easy to get a, a good quality video for games. So I have a pretty beefy computer here with me that I use to record all my videos and I use it for editing as well. So I personally think equipment is pretty important but if you're on a budget you can get away with stuff that isn't like perfect as a solution for recording. The next thing is make sure you focus on one genre of videos and one audience. You're not gonna be able to like bring many people in if like you make a whole bunch of vlogs and you also make a whole bunch of gaming videos. If you're going to do that, you should either make two channels or just focus on one of them because people aren't going to want to come to your channel and have to wait for the videos that they like specifically and like the other people have to wait for their videos and whatever. Like for example, on my channel, I tend to focus on Minecraft and related gaming videos. Um and it's it's been really helpful. The next tip that I have for you is just to upload consistently. This will be so helpful for your channel. Unless you're like Casey Neistat who can like upload a video and then get 16 million views. But even now he uploads daily and his subscriber count has gone up tremendously. So it really helps to get like a community get together around your channel if you upload really consistently. Like I upload every other day. I make sure I do it every other day, no exceptions, I never miss an upload. It's really important to upload consistently, otherwise people won't be attracted to your videos. They'll see like, oh, I'm going to watch this person's video, oh, it was cool, but this person hasn't uploaded in like a month. How am I going to like know that, how am I going to look forward to their videos if I don't know when they're going to come out? So it's a good thing to be on a schedule upload consistently and often. The next tip if you really want to like do YouTube well is if you're gonna make a video make sure you yourself would enjoy watching it. Don't make like this really awful video that you just want to put out and make because it's easy to make. Make sure if you're gonna make a video make sure you would enjoy watching it. Make sure like if you don't enjoy watching it who's to say other people are gonna enjoy watching it? And make sure it's on a thing that you enjoy playing, like, or doing. So don't upload a video of a game that you don't enjoy playing because it's going to show. Make sure you like playing that game. Make sure you're decent at that game. That also helps them. And make sure you would want to watch that video. And the last thing that I have for you is it's nice to have a good, like, brand and a consistent brand. Like, on my channel, I have my, like, channel art. And that's also similar to the logo, and it's similar to my intro, and the thumbnails use the same font. Having all of that stuff kind of interconnected is really helpful for people to recognize your channel, and you, and your brand. It's a good idea. Like, it doesn't have to be great, um, but it's good to have your own style, too, so people can identify you against other people and other channels. So... I would just recommend that you either create your own or just look for something that you can use to make 
a consistent brand for your channel. But that's all I have for you today. Um, I'm still feeling a little under the weather, so I thought that would be a pretty easy video to make for you. Um, if you liked this video and you thought it was helpful, do give it a thumbs up. Share it if you really thought it was useful and you think it might be useful to other people. If you want to see more videos like this one, do subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.